right so welcome back so we have some news you guys so uh for that you know subscribe to the channel for more weather and waves content like it up comment below man i'm definitely gonna be streaming this game on launch so if you guys want to go check out my twitch channel i'll leave it down below so definitely and we're having a live stream this coming up sunday so definitely i'll be streaming that if you guys want to go you know chill and uh come hang out uh definitely come by uh but yeah man so um pretty much when i was at work i seen uh, uh, uh somebody i guess tweeted uh, i guess it was like a leak image i guess it probably wasn't like it wasn't a leak image but it was an image on the weather and waves uh, official website and supposedly got taken down i can't even see the the person that tweeted tweeted it anymore for some reason i was gonna put that on screen but it's gone for whatever reason but uh yeah supposedly leaked five star selector event is real and then we're getting a 20 summoning code on the day of the live stream so that's crazy and um supposedly we're already getting 20 pulls from the get-go um when we uh pretty much play the game so that's what 40 pulls though right but i guess on the um, the code that we get or are we you know supposedly getting so take all this as a grain of salt uh so we're getting like 10 lustrous tide uh 10 radiant tide so lustrous tide is supposed to be the standard banner and uh radiant tide is supposed to be the limited banner so pretty much how genshin was um yeah, I forgot what it was. The 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 blue fates. I was called it the blue fates was the standard banner, and the pink fates was the you know the limited banner. So uh, pretty much uh, the same thing there. And we're getting a, a free selector, dude. What? What? <laughs> what? Uh, so that's crazy, man. So and see, that's that's how you launch a game, bro. Like you, you pretty much um give us some summons and give us like a, a five star uh we we want like it's some like some gotcha games uh they'll have you have like unlimited pulls and then you get to select what you know like multi you want right so i'll pull and i'll probably get like this five star that i want i can pull again and i'll get another five star i'll keep going up until i get that five star that i want then after that i'll just click okay then boom that set of 10 I get so yeah it's it's always great when you start off with the character you want it makes you want to play more some gacha games I quit because I didn't get that character and I'm just like ah, I don't really want to play anymore <laughs> so this is great so this is a good start dude and supposedly we're getting a beginner banner also kind of like a novice banner kind of like what Genshin did uh with like uh, I think it was Noel so we're getting a beginner banner 20% off so if you guys want to go summon on that normally those these beginner banners you don't want to uh, summon for you kind of want to just straight off the bat uh go to like this you know standard banner build your pity up or the limited banner right no, more, most likely the limited banner that's the standard banner right but uh and then supposedly we're getting a, um a login day five login and we're getting a free sunwa so one of my personal favorite four stars design wise and you know just pretty much like animation wise so we getting her for free and then we're also getting a, a five star weapon choice if we um upgrade our union level so that's that's crazy dude so so really off the bat we're getting all these summon summon summonings you know um a five star selector and then a free four star character and we're getting another free four star character actually i didn't even mention uh so we supposed to be completing these challenges and we get a free uh wan woo um we getting two free four stars pretty much a five star and a five star weapon dude that's literally insane that's why i wish i could find uh pretty much what i seen when i was at work i put up uh, i could put it up on uh, the screen for you guys but unfortunately i can't find the tweet any tweet anymore <laughs> you know so that's very unfortunate but like i said take it as a grain of salt i'm pretty sure probably other kind of creators probably uh cover this so if you guys want to double double check or fact check me uh go ahead uh so this is pretty much uh, i'm going by what i've seen 
Uh, I kind of I took the notes on it just in case. I kind of knew it was gonna get deleted. So yeah. So yeah, that's crazy, man. This game is starting off so damn good. It it is it is absolutely insane. And then um, so the other part of this video is gonna be uh this article that I found right. So yeah, the I I didn't I didn't debate y'all. I didn't bait y'all on the title. I did see this article talking about Modern Waves leak. You don't have to waste pools for constellations or dupes. You can buy them. So uh, I kind of skimmed through this. So I guess in the beta, right? Um, of course, like you, 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 they're not gonna let you pay. It's a beta, right? So in CBT two, players could purchase character dupl duplicates using the in-game currency after Glow Coral. So this is pretty much what it is right here. Uh, this is the things you can get. So after Glow Corals is received after pulling character copies from banners, including four star characters. So every time you pull, and uh, you get like you know four star copies, you know, or you know probably some five star copies, you get these, you know, somewhat coral um what is it called again after gold corals i'm just gonna call it corals and then you can save those up and actually get copies of five star characters i don't know if this like um it'll probably be in the shop and they'll like kind of you know you kind of have to wait you know a, a specific day when it comes back a certain five star right like every day it changes or every week or every month who knows uh, but it's no official information yet about whether this feature will be implemented in full release of the game, game or not. So this was in CBT2, right? But this is not like far fetched because a lot, a lot, a lot of gacha games actually does this. One thing's come to mind is Blue Archive. If you ever play Blue Archive, you pull for a character, right? You get that character, and then every time you pull a character, you get these. Uh, I forgot what the hell is it called. It was these pink gems. And then it's the same same thing as these corals. You know, every time you get a character, you get so much of these, um, you know, currency. What, let's say currency, corals or gems or whatever. And then you can actually buy dupes of the character in the store. So in Blue Archive, you can actually fully max the character by just getting the character one time or summoning for it one time. And after that, they have a shop. It's always there. And then if you pull so much, you can literally max out your character, max constellation, max everything. You just got to pretty much, uh, you know, get the character first. And then, in, you know, in Blue Archive, I'm, you know, giving an example. Uh, I got pretty much like a lot of my favorite characters, like pretty much fully maxed out, right? So if they implement this, dude, this game will be goaded, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna say this, they're gonna blow Gisha out the water though. But the thing is, man, it's like, will they make money off of it? Just because you have to pull one time for the character. Um, and then, you know, I guess it depends how much these corals that you can get, right? Per character. I guess they can probably do it, right? You know, it just depends how much they give us per character we uh, get. So I feel like it's doable, you know, but if they if they do it, that would be awesome, bro. This, this game would be so much better than any gacha game, right? But who knows? Like I said, this is only in CBT2. Uh, you know, I kind of breezed through this and I, I got excited. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. This game is already freaking great, dude. But then, you know, I was just like, oh, this is only in CBT2. But, you know, I was thinking, I was just like, I play Blue Archive, and they actually they actually do this in their gacha game. And, you know, Blue Archive actually does pretty well per month as revenue-wise, you know, last time I checked. So, uh, yeah, man, this would be awesome if they actually implement this. This will be freaking goaded, bro. You know, curl games. <laughs> All right, so... Whether in shop, you can buy up to two copies. Oh, so it's only two copies of five star characters on the shop after uh, using Afterglow Corals. Afterglow Coral is the currency you get when you pull copies of characters you already have. So yeah, pretty much uh, characters you already have. Um, I mean, we we did this before. 
uh, like every game, you know, you get a dupe for something, you get like a low currency for it. Um, because I mean, Genshin does it too, right? But they they do it only for like um, like Bennett, Lisa, Kaya. You know, you can buy them off the shop, right? But they never did it in a five star character. So this would be do dope. Even if, even if you limit us to like two copies, that's fine, dude. That's actually fine. You know, I, I'm I'm cool with that. So uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what y'all guys think in the comments. Should they implement this? Well, if they do implement this, you know, will it be hurting their game? You know, right? I think if they limit it to two. I think they're good, right? I think they're good. I think they're still going to make their money, especially um, how they're going right now. They're they're doing phenomenal, bro. Like, all the free stuff we're getting. The game itself look great. So, yeah, man. I'm so excited for this <laughs> game, dude. So, yeah. Uh, but, like I said, it, it's been Im implemented before. Like I, like I said, in Blue Archive. Um, but, yeah, let me know what you, what's your thoughts in the comments. I feel like it won't hurt them if we get, you know, a limit to two on the five stars. But four stars, I feel like we should be able to buy four stars, like, you know, max dupe. Uh, but five stars, definitely, you know, you can just limit it to two and we're good, bro. <laughs> but yeah, let me uh, let me know what your thoughts and I'll see you guys on the next one.